check this out guys today we built this awesome hidden treasure room I mean right now there's no roof but you guys get the idea Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of our Let's Build series here in Minecraft Pocket Edition where we are creating a redstone house that has a ton of redstone built into it. We've done a lot so far and in the last episode we built out the entire front of the house. As you can see, it looks pretty cool and in this episode we're going to work on a redstone treasure room that's hidden beneath the ground. Now I know I haven't posted one of these episodes in a really long time. I do apologize but I've been very busy but I am back and if you guys want to see more of these episodes per week be sure to take one second to crush that like button and let me know that this is a series that you guys want to see as well as don't forget to comment down below and just suggest something for me to build don't suggest like just one creation come up with an idea for just a space in the house like in this episode I was just going to build a hidden staircase but I changed it to an entire redstone treasure room and I think that will help me a bit more to put these episodes out that way I don't really have to come up with the ideas too much Anyways, that was a pretty long intro, so let's get started with today's episode. Obviously, I dug out a hole over here in the ground, and that pig is freaking out over there. But yeah, I dug out a hole, and this hole is six blocks deep. That's all you really need to know, and then you could clear out an area, however big you want, to build this hidden staircase. Now, the first thing we want to do is just grab ourselves some blocks of our choice, come down to the hole, and just build out two blocks just like that. Then you want to extend this three blocks up to make it four blocks in total. So let's go ahead and do that. That's one layer, two and three. Now it's four blocks tall and we need to extend this to the left. So let's just go ahead and do that. And then we extend it by another layer. So now that is a two by two area that's vertical. Then we need to grab ourselves our sticky pistons and place one over here facing up and over there facing up Then place down two over here facing up and then right next to it, place down two more. Once we have that, we need to grab ourselves our block of our choice, build out two blocks in front just like that, build out two blocks on the right, then two blocks blocks on the left then you want to grab yourselves your sticky pistons place on two over here and then place down two over here and place one facing up over there and one facing up over here and if you guys have not noticed so far we're basically mirroring the left and right hand sides but either way we need to destroy these blocks over there there you go and let's destroy these as well and once we have that, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some more blocks of our choice and place down two blocks right at the back over here. Then you want to destroy the two blocks down there. Then you want to build out one block on this side, just like that. Then build up one block like that. And then build out two blocks right over there. Now what we need to do is pretty much do the same thing on the other side. Build out one block towards this direction. And then we want to build up one block over here. And then we want to build out two blocks over there. All right, so let's go ahead and just work on this side first. And then we'll get to the next one. We need to grab ourselves some of our redstone repeaters, place one down over there and one over there, set these both to four ticks. And I am using a texture pack, so it looks a bit weird. And that texture pack will be in the description box down below for you guys to download. The next thing we want to do is grab ourselves a uh, slab. And then we need to use a slab to place down one, two, three, right over here. We need to place on a block right behind this thing or behind the sticky piston. Then we need to place down two slabs over here and it should connect up. Then you want to grab more slabs and place down one, two right over here at the top section of that block underneath that sticky piston. Place down a redstone repeater over here, set that to four ticks. And then we need to place down another block right over here, up just like that. And then grab ourselves redstone dust, place it there, there, and then all the way to the top of this block and then connect it up right over here in front of our sticky pistons. And then you can destroy this one because we don't really need that. Then we need to place down redstone dust here with our redstone repeaters going into that block and then set these both the four ticks yet again by clicking on it three times then place down a regular uh, redstone repeater over here set to, to set to the original tick delay with another bit of redstone dust there then you want to grab yourselves your block of uh, your choice and then place down one over there and then place on one across like this make sure you destroy that block place one block down over here one block uh, up over here and one block down over there and then one block down over here place on redstone dust there and then a redstone repeater over here going into that block set that to two ticks by clicking on it once and then set this one over here to four ticks going into that block and then set this to four ticks all right so now we need to place down a bit of redstone dust there and then we need to place down redstone dust right on top of there and that should create one side of our 
staircase. Now let's go ahead and repeat that on the other side and then we could, you know, get this working. All right, so yet again, you want to place down two of our redstone repeaters going into our blocks just like this. Then you want to grab yourselves your slabs and place down one, two, three right over here. Then you want to grab your slabs again and place down two on this side and it should connect up. Then you place down one, two over here at the top section of that block with a block up just like this and it should connect to the top section. Then you place down another redstone repeater over here, set that to four ticks, place down redstone dust there and right on top of this block in the middle. And then also you want to place it along these blocks right over there. Then you want to place down our redstone repeaters going into these areas, set these both to four ticks. Then place down another one right over here and set that to the original tick delay. Then place down a bit of redstone dust there, right over here, a block back here with a bit of redstone dust on top of that. Then we need to grab ourselves our blocks of our choice and place on a block over here Then place a block out just like this. Then you want to place down a block down over here, then a block up over here, and then a block down over there, and down over here. Redstone dust there, with a bit of red, or with a redstone repeater, excuse me, going into this block, set that to two ticks by clicking on it once. Then place down a, uh, another redstone repeater over here, set that to four ticks, and then a bit of redstone dust there, and now we should have ourselves a working hidden staircase that is two by two. Alright, so now let's go ahead and just place down our blocks right on top of those uh, sticky pistons, just like that. And then we need to grab ourselves our lever from our menu, and then we can see if this works. So I'm hoping that this works. Please work. Alright, so now we just go ahead and click on that uh, spot over there, and then flick that lever, and boom! It actually does work, and... You know what? I think it's one block higher than the ground level is supposed to be, so that's kind of unfortunate. So if you guys have already built it, I do apologize, but if you want to rebuild it, that's okay. And if you guys haven't started already, I guess you're lucky because now my entire contraption is one block higher. And you know what? Since we have the house foundation itself down here, we could always extend up this section of the house and just make it one block higher, and that should solve the problem. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is just destroy that lever and have the staircase open up. And this is basically going to lead down to our hidden vault. And for some reason, that side didn't really uh, retract. So let's go ahead and try this again. There you go. And then retract that. And yeah, so sometimes it doesn't work because of the timing. It's kind of uh, like barely getting away with it. But either way, it started raining. And uh, yeah, that's not really good. All right, so if you guys are wondering why I built an elevator over here. And if you haven't seen the elevator, I you're probably confused. But either way, I created this. And when I was recording it, like the recording messed up. So I decided just to keep it because it took a really long time to build that. But if you guys want to see a tutorial on the realistic elevator, I will link it in the description box down below or you could find it on my channel. It's by far one of my most popular redstone or MCPE tutorials. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and continue with this room. What I'm going to do is yet again turn the system off so I can see where my staircase is and then I can start placing down our blocks for our floor. So this is where our floor is going to be. I'm just going to extend this up just like that so you won't be able to see it. And at the moment, I will make the room out of quartz, but of course, in the future, as we decorate it and change it up, it will, you know, uh, change the blocks as well, and it will look more detailed. All right, so I am using a texture pack yet again, so I'm going to have a lot of opportunities to add in very interesting textures, but for now, I'm just going to build out the room and try to fill out the floor, and then we can, uh, you know, focus on the decorations afterwards. All right, so I built out some of the area and I pretty much just used my chisel stone bricks and my crack stone bricks. And as you can see with the texture pack, we have very nice contrasting colors. The floor is white with our quartz and then the wall is just like darker shades of gray. I mean, it's not that complex, but I mean, this is just for a vault. So let's just go ahead and finish up this room and we just need to build out the walls on the sides. And then on this area over here, we're just pretty much going to place down our chisel stone bricks yet again. All right, so let's just quickly do this there you go and then grab ourselves our chisel stone bricks and just build it out just like this and one thing I like about pocket edition I've said this in the past and it's one of the upsides to the mobile game itself is that you could just simply build things so quickly you don't even need to click on it it places down as fast as your hands can move and you could use two fingers if you choose so there you go that is that wall now finished and now we could possibly cover this up with a floor and then we could add in our other redstone now the redstone idea that I had was to add in some of our hidden chests and these chests are basically going to be swapped out of the wall using our block swappers which I think will be a pretty cool idea and an extra layer of security and of course we could add in some redstone lamps into the floor itself. Alright so to do this I just want to knock out some of these areas in the ground. 
So anyways, it doesn't really matter. Once you have your lights placed down, you just want to place a block right beneath it and leave a space to place down a redstone torch. It should be activated and we will pretty much just invert that torch in order to turn the lights on and off. So where is this other one? I can't seem to find it. I think it's somewhere maybe on this side. Oh yeah, it's probably down here. Alright, so let's check back there. Boom, there you go. Just place down a black right over here to mark the position. Then place down a redstone torch right in that area. Then we need to dig down this side as well because it's apparently inside of these rocks. And I think it should be back one more layer. There you go. Or actually maybe back here. I'm not really sure where this is. Oh, okay. It's over here. All right. So there you go. We need to place down another block over there with another redstone torch right on top. Then we need to place down four of our blocks over here. And then place down four redstone torches. I don't think you actually need four, but for the sake of consistency, I'm just going to place down four of them. And then place down two repeaters over there, one repeater over here. Place down one repeater over there, one over there, and then two over here. And it's really that simple. All right, so now we need to grab ourselves all of the blocks that we need. Also, some blocks to make a T flip-flop. So what I'm going to do is grab myself a button, a wooden button, since everything up there is stone. As well as I am going to grab some redstone dust. Where are you? There you go. And then we're going to grab some droppers. We're going to grab some hoppers. And also a redstone comparator. So there you go. And, um, hmm. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So we just need to make the redstone uh, compare. Or, ex excuse me. We need to make the redstone T flip-flop for the button for the lights as well as for the staircase so we need to make two separate t flip flops right so now we just need to connect up the redstone over here this is quite simple you don't really need to do much and then you want to just make sure you have a space in between that block since that block is being powered you don't want to make it into a circular clock then you extend this this direction and then you would pretty much bring it down there and when we apply a redstone signal over here as you can see all the lights should turn off all right, so there you go. Now we just need to make our T flip flop and you can make this pretty much anywhere on the map. I'm just going to dig out a space right over here to make the T flip flop. There you go. It just needs to be like three blocks tall. And I'm not sure where I'm going to make the button for this doorway yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to make it on the floor. So say for instance, I want the button to be maybe right over here since it's one block above the ground. I'll just make it like that. I'll build one block down over here. And build one block over here, but this actually cuts off the redstone, so I can't really do that. So let's extend it one towards the right-hand side. That way, when I place down a block over here, it doesn't cut off the redstone, but it stops these two parts from being connected. So as you can see, that's pretty much how that will work. Let me place down a button over here, which is going to be leveled with the floor. And then we can build out this floor so you guys can see it better. So there you go. Just build out the floor area. And then we place down some blocks over here. It's basically going to come down and allow us to activate our T flip-flop. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So we just need to connect it up to a T flip-flop now. Yet again, I need to destroy this area back here. Take a redstone signal just like this coming from that block. Then you want to place a dropper facing towards this direction. Which is um, actually, you know what? Play, yeah, place the dropper facing up like this. And place the dropper facing towards this direction. And then place a dropper facing towards this direction. Yet again, I'm using a texture pack, so it looks pretty weird. But the cabinet door is basically the front. Then you want to place down a hopper going into that um, dropper at the bottom. Make sure it's going down and not into this one. Otherwise, it won't work. I used to make that mistake a lot. Then you want to place down a redstone comparator right over here by jumping and placing it down. And then place down a redstone repeater right in front of that. And there you go. It's uh, that simple. All right, so now let's go ahead and just uh, test this out. The first thing we need to do is, of course, place down an item into that hopper. You need to place down a single item. Notice you can see it's currently on. I think it is. Um, we could actually test this out better by using a redstone lamp. There you go. So it's currently on. Now when I hit this button, it should go ahead and turn off. Otherwise, we did this wrong. Let's go ahead and try that again. And it didn't turn off. That's really weird. Oh, actually, the redstone isn't even connected. All right, so there you go. We connected it up. We hit that button and it should turn off. So there you go. It did turn off and it is working. So now we just need to pretty much connect this up to the input. And the input is located in a very precarious position. So the input for this particular thing, if I did not mention, is right where this lever is, obviously. And you need to power this area with a redstone repeater. You can't just place like redstone going directly into it. Otherwise, it won't work. So let's just go ahead and destroy some of these blocks and connect this up. And click on this button. The staircase will close and the staircase will open. Just that simple, guys. All right, so there you go. We now have a staircase for our treasure room. We now need to add in our button for our lighting. And what I'm going to do is maybe just add it in right over here since that's a really simple position to put it in. So let's just go ahead and come back down here. 
and place this down over there, and then pretty much build one block down. Place down a redstone repeater right over here, that way it doesn't interact with the redstone dust that we place down. There you go. And then what I'm going to do is place down redstone dust here, which should be activated with our button, and then we need to pretty much just uh, carry this over to the other side. Now, yet again, there is a connection of that redstone over there, so you want to make sure that that really doesn't happen. And to do this, I'm just going to place down redstone dust there. I'm going to move this to the side, place down two of our redstone repeaters, so it will be delayed a bit. And yet again, you want to place down redstone repeaters over here because these blocks are being powered. Then you want to connect it up just like that, destroy this two redstone dust, and it makes it a bit more compact. And then we just want to carry this over into that area on that side, place down another redstone repeater over here because yet again, this block is being powered by that redstone repeater. And then we need to extend this on this side and then pretty much, um, you know, send this into a T flip flop. So we can just build our T flip flop right here, build it up just like that and then build one in this direction by crouching and clicking on it. And then we want to place one down on this side, facing towards the first dropper, and then place a hopper into this dropper right over there, an item into that hopper, and then place down a uh, redstone comparator right over there, and then place down um, a bit of redstone dust there, place down a um, block right there, and then place down... Hmm, okay, so this is getting confusing now. So we need to somehow make this connect without extending the area. So this is definitely a challenge, but I think you could just place down a block over there and then a bit of redstone dust there and it should be activated. And yeah, then you could place down a redstone repeater. So that's how you would do that. You want to make sure you place down redstone repeaters over here so you don't mess with the actual um, droppers. I'm not sure if that does anything, but I'm just doing that just in case because I don't want to come back to this later. And boom, we now have working lighting. It is that easy, guys. All right, so now we just cover up that area. And I think I'm going to run into a very difficult challenge because since I used so much redstone at the bottom of the map, I don't think we have enough space to add in those hidden chests. But either way, I'm going to try to do it. All right, so I cleared out some area to add in our hidden chests. Also, we're going to create a T flip flop hidden input that should complete this treasure room. Now, we're going to add in two of these chests, and yet again, they're going to be connected up to one. But to do this, we want to build it three blocks into the ground, and then this needs to be right at the base of one of our walls. Once you have that, you want to grab yourselves the blocks of your choice and basically build out a three by three area. And you want this section over here to be right where our piston is going to be. So that's really hard to explain, but after we build out this 3x3 area, I'll show you why. So that's our 3x3 area, then we place down a redstone torch over here, and then on top of that redstone torch, we're going to place our sticky piston, and then once that is extended, this is where the base of the wall is going to be. So that's really why you want to do that. Once you have that, you want to grab yourselves your block of quartz and place down one at the edges just like this. Then you want to grab yourselves your block of your choice and build out one, two, and three. So right over here. And then place a sticky piston facing towards this direction. Then on top of that sticky piston, you want to place down our um, chest. So let's just go ahead and do that. Boom, there we go. And you want to make sure it's facing forward. That way it looks nice. And then you want to place down four bits of redstone dust there. And then place down a redstone repeater here and there. Set those both to four ticks. And then you want to grab yourself some more blocks of your choice. Build out one on top like this. And then two across like this. Redstone dust here and there. And then a redstone repeater over here. Which I think is set to three ticks. I'm not really sure. But we can go ahead and test this out and see if it works. And let's just go ahead and grab ourselves a lever. Here we go. Place down a lever right over here, flick that button, and uh, yeah, for some reason that didn't work. I'm not really sure why. Um, literally, it's getting powered. What is going on right now? So let's go ahead and try this again. Maybe set that to four ticks to delay it a bit. Turn that off, and then turn that on, and yes, it does work. So I guess it's four ticks for it to work. Now, that is one of our systems now completed. It's very simple. And we're going to finish this one and then we can connect it up with our hidden inputs as well as our T flip flop. All right, so to do this hidden input, we're going to need our minecart with a hopper, a hopper, and then some rails. All right, so we just need to decide where we want to put this. And I think the only option is on this side since we pretty much used up all of the other areas with redstone. I'm going to place it down right over here. This is going to be a hidden input, so there's going to be no button. But once we have that, we want to, um, yeah, pretty much count one two and then three blocks down so i think we would just place down a chest right over here 
and then place down a hopper right on top of that chest by shift and clicking on it or crouching and clicking on it. I'm so used to PC. And um, yeah, actually, no, you know what? We don't do that. We need to dig down four blocks. So dig down over here, place on a chest just like that, place down a hopper right on top of it. So same thing we did before. And then this time we placed down a rail on top of that hopper by shift and clicking on it again. And Again, I do mean crouch, not shift. I'm just so used to it, guys. Place down a minecart with a hopper right on top of that. And whatever items drop down onto that block should be sucked down into the ground now. What you want to do is make sure you place down some blocks surrounding this minecart with a hopper. That way, it is, it is not pushed out. And we could, you know, kind of put it all the way around. But I'm just going to keep it just like that. Because, I mean, once three sides are blocked, it should be fine. Then we place down a redstone comparator right here at the bottom. So I need to go ahead and grab myself a redstone comparator. Just like that. And then pretty much send a signal coming out of it like this. Going into a redstone repeater towards that direction. And then what we need to do is pretty much grab ourselves our droppers and hoppers. And create yet again another T flip flop. So let's go ahead and do this. Place one up over here. Just like that. Or maybe just like this. There you go. And place one facing towards this direction. And this should not be activated. I'm not sure if I could break this block. But yeah, let's just go ahead and break that. Place one facing towards this direction. Place a hopper going into this dropper down here. And then we place down another redstone comparator. Another redstone repeater. And then we connect this up to the input. Now the input's going to be right on this side. So let's just go ahead and do that. Extend it by two blocks. Place down a redstone there. Extend it across here. And then we just need to extend it across to the other side. And then I would do this by using repeaters, of course. So let's just go ahead and do that. It should not mess with any of this redstone. So it really doesn't matter. Extend it all the way across here. And then since the spot is like taken up with red, so I'm just going to break into the wall really quick. And then we could connect it up to the final part and then we'll pretty much be done. All right, so let's just go ahead and bring this redstone across yet again. And then extend this out by two. Place down a redstone repeater there, a redstone repeater here just to refresh the signal. And yeah, I mean, you probably don't need that many redstone repeaters, but I'm just doing it just in case because I hate going back and... um. You know, double checking and triple checking these things. So, of course, the final thing we need to do is place down a bit of redstone dust inside of this item hopper. Or just place down any item of your choice. And it should go ahead and activate those pistons and show you guys the hidden chests. Alright, so I ran into a problem because I'm very dumb. But so you cannot actually open chests when it's under a block. You can only do it when there's a staircase. Now, unfortunately for me, the blocks I use for the wall does not have a staircase in it. So, I can't really hide it. But I... I would just change the texture of the wall so that's not really a problem you just have to replace the wall itself and what you would do is just grab that corresponding staircase that kind of fits the wall and then you would pretty much line it up with the wall itself now this is like a different texture that that's why it stands out so much so yeah i mean after you fix it it shouldn't be a problem then you could obviously open the chest because there's a staircase right above it and yeah that's pretty much how it how it should work now for the sake of this video i'm just going to place down any random block and then we could test out how this room is supposed to work and then i'll show you what's up so over here as well we covered up the secret area but you know let's just go ahead and test this out guys and uh you guys can judge for yourselves Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we built today. If I go ahead and hit that button, it should open up our hidden staircase. Then we walk down into our treasure room. Since there's going to be a floor right above us, it should be really dark, but no worries. We have a button over here to turn on the lighting. As you can see, even now, it gets a tiny bit brighter, and you guys know where the lights are. But either way, we could drop down our item right on top of this block to open up our hidden area. So let's just go ahead and do that. Boom! There we go. And now our chests pop out of the wall for an extra layer of security. Yeah, and again we have to change the walls itself to hide it better but either way that is what we built and it is actually not bad anyways guys that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video if you guys did enjoy it and you want to see more from this series be sure to crush the like button let's aim for like 1500 likes on this video that's a really high number but i know you guys could do it as well as don't forget to subscribe to see when i post these videos anyways if you watched all the way to this point type in hashtag team twist into the comments so i know how awesome you are and and yeah, anyways, this was Twist, and I'll see you guys next time.